Hey guys, quickly, think of a wild animal. Good, you got it? You're most probably thinking of an animal, like a tiger you saw at the zoo, or some elephants in the wild show on a nature documentary. However, there is actually wildlife all around us that you might have missed. And the best thing is, you can spot them without needing a trip to the zoo or an expedition into the jungle. Welcome everyone, I'm Tim, your host, and I'll be introducing 5 amazing wildlife that can be found in urban areas around where you live. So, let's have a look at these urban animals together, starting with... Firstly, egrets. Starting off the list, we have the elegant egret. This white bird from the heron family is often found pacing around bodies of water, like the pond at Sukang Complex. By using its spear-like bill, it hunts for little critters such as frogs, worms and fish to eat. These commonly seen birds are actually not of one, but four separate species. The first and the largest species is called the great egret. It stands at a metre tall, which is the tallest among the four common egrets shown here. Similar to the great egret, the second egret is called the intermediate egret. It can be differentiated from the great egret by its shorter stature at 80 cm tall, as well as having a shorter, less extended neck. Third down the line is the little egret, which stands at 60 cm tall. It is the only species with the yellow feet, which they wiggle in the water to mimic worms to attract fish. Last and the least in height is the cattle egret. It stands at 50 cm tall, has orange patches, and are often found around grazing cattle or water buffaloes, hence its name. Secondly, plantain squirrel. Scurrying index is also a common resident to the urban neighbourhood. On the surface, the plantain squirrel might only seem to be brown in colour, but upon closer inspection, you could see it actually has a vibrant chestnut colour on the belly and black and white stripes running down its flank. No wonder it belongs to the genus of squirrels, Calisioris, which means beautiful squirrels. Using its fuzzy tail as a counterbalance, the plantain squirrel can easily traverse across electrical wires and tree branches in search of its favourite food, fruits, which I'm sure you have seen them eating from your fruiting trees in the garden. These little rodents have even been seen gnawing into the king of fruits, durians. That's why they are sometimes considered as pests. Speaking about kings, next up in this list is also a king in its own regard. Thirdly, Asian Water Monitor. The king of urban wildlife, Asian Water Monitor is the largest lizard found in Sabah and can grow up to 3 meters in length. Using its strong limbs, razor sharp claws and powerful tail, this apex predator can climb and swim to most places, even reaching islands like this one to find itself some food or even a mate. Although it usually stays away from humans, the monitor lizard will enter houses when given the opportunity for an easy meal, unfortunately frightening the house owners while doing so. These reptiles have a crucial role in keeping the urban landscape clean by scavenging rotten food in dumps and eating decaying flesh like roadkill, which effectively removes breeding places for diseases. In line with the theme of kings, Fourthly, call it kingfisher. The family of kingfishers are well known for their high dive performances, plunging themselves into water to catch fish. However, the collared kingfisher does not usually go for fish, instead, it prefers to prey on small land critters such as lizards, insects, and have even been recorded eating a small bird. With its contrasting white feathers around the neck, the collared kingfisher is often spotted perched on electrical wires or bare branches, scanning for prey or calling out in its distinctive cackling call. Once you have heard it, you will never forget. Lastly, long tail macaque. Prominent in areas by jungle edges, like at Bukit Badang, the long-tailed macaque are often seen moving as a troop into urban areas in search for food, and returning to the jungle to rest by nightfall. Similar to the Asian water monitor, these adorable monkeys thrive on rummaging for human food and might enter houses for it, using their agile bodies to jump onto roofs and climb into windows. As so, they are often seen as mischievous pests. On top of that, certain zoonotic diseases can spread from long-tail macaques to humans, so if you do see them in your area, please stay a healthy distance away from them. Well, that comes to the end of our list of 5 urban wildlife that can be spotted around you in Sabah. 
we really appreciate you taking some time to watch this video. Hopefully, you have learned something new today and become more aware of the wildlife that is around you. And as a challenge, try and spot these animals for yourself and tell us down in the comments below on what you managed to see. And while you're at it, kindly share your thoughts and feedbacks about this video too. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it to your friends and family. Visit us on our DGFC website for more information about us and follow us on our social media platforms for more on the wildlife of Sabah. Do take care and we'll see you guys soon in the next video.